Adobe Acrobat Reader. It's a cool tool or whatever, but PDF.ai, that's the tool for you. First of all, we all know exactly what I'm talking about. Adobe needs to stop being so expensive. Okay, we get it. You're cornering the market. You have like all the tech. Wow, cool. Guess what? You, I know what you're doing. Do you think you have a corner on the market with my editing software, with everything? Do you think you can just take from me all of my freedom? But no, PDF.ai is, uh, is a cheaper and better alternative to Adobe Acrobat. First and foremost, Adobe Acrobat Reader AI Assistant is cool inside of Adobe Acrobat. But numbers don't lie. One, Adobe Acrobat Reader is $29 per month or $239 per year. PDF.ai is $17 per month or $120 a year. I'm not very good at math, but 239.9, that little roundup, basically makes it double the price of PDF.ai for a yearly plan. Let's stop paying for that. Something that PDF.ai can do that Adobe Acrobat AI can't is actually not just chat with one PDF, but they can chat with all of them. So if you need to find multiple answers at once, you don't need to dig through everything. So if I, for example, ask a question about what was Seneca's moral letters about, which is one of the articles I have in here. It gives me an answer because it's like a knowledge base of everything. And then it sends me to the exact PDF that I'm asking about because it is so smart, unlike you. I'm just kidding, I don't wanna be so combative. It's a good tool, but like, we're cool. Another great thing that we can do that Adobe Acrobat AI assistant really can't is if I go to a specific section, I'm in the enterprise plan, I can go to this PDF here and let's find this section here and let's just capture and ask a question. What is this image depicting? The image is depicting an interior space that appears to be an office or storage room. There are shelves filled with binders, books, and boxes, an old computer monitor, some papers, etc. Yeah. Uh, do you think this thing can understand what this image is pretty well? because I'm pretty sure it's doing just fine. And it's something we can do that they can't. Another great thing that we have here at PDF.ai is the ability to use GPT-4. With some additional credits, you can essentially utilize GPT-4, which is beyond that base model, and we can ask more questions, like changing the model to GPT-4 and asking the question, what should you do after finishing the book? And it'll give a more refined and elegant response with a larger context window, with more context given back to you because it has that higher level of computational AI power and larger language model data set. As you can see, it told me to take action, be methodical, and pace yourself. Some other great things that exist are OCR support. So I love a good PDF that has you know text that you can grab, but there are instances where it won't have the ability to actually showcase the text because they're scanned documents. Like for example, I have a scanned image of a book. Let's upload this image with the OCR for scanned documents. And it's gonna take this and make it possible to read. So what is this about? It figured it out. Look at that. Document provides information about the soft strip technology. Yeah, Acrobat, you do not know how to do that, do you? Another really cool thing is that we actually have team members here. So if I go to my settings and go to teams, I can invite other team members uh, to this account and give them varying levels of permission. We've made an entire video on this, but we simply just have to write their name in there and then they can either be set to can only view PDFs in chat, can view, upload and delete, whatever you please. You can just press send invite, they'll get an email, they'll be invited, it's a cool time. And another really great feature is you can actually embed these images. So if I want to share this, I can click that share button right here, then go to embed, press publish the document, copy this, and say I wanted to. I could slash embed this bad boy onto any page I wanted. Let's go into this example page on my Notion. Look at this. I can embed and interact with this. As you can see, it even said, what is the purpose of soft strip? Look at that. Easily embeddable. Can you do that, Adobe? I don't think so. Can, can Adobe do that? I don't think so. 
And last but not least, we do have a Chrome extension. Simply go to the Google Chrome store. And then if I go into just some random PDF page, like PDF of Epictetus, and it's like one of these URL bad boys, guess what? On the bottom right, I can continue and confirm that I want to save this bad boy and it'll save it to my PDF.ai account. Check it. I just got to ask some questions. What is the purpose of this document? I want to know. Hmm. And the purpose of this document is to present the philosophy of Epictetus and provide insights into his teachings. This is what we all need. So by following these simple steps and looking at these simple features, you can see that we have a lot more and a lot of cool stuff inside of PDF.ai versus Adobe Acrobat Reader. So if you want to find a better alternative to a product that's not in your price range, come over here. We'll have you and we'll love having you. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to check out the other content on our YouTube channel and check out this video on how to improve your skills using PDF.ai even more.